to my channel my name is Nikita in today's video I'm finally revealing our bathroom makeover this is super budget friendly it took a long time because a uh, my husband and I have two boys he has work so amongst all those things it was a lot of stop and go but I'm gonna be taking you step by step of the process how much things cost and I'll leave all of the links for the tools and um, all of the equipment and everything that we needed to get this done down in the description box and also I did collaborate with Giving Tree I will be getting to that further along into the video so super thanks to them so without further ado let's get into the before so here is the guest bathroom upstairs rusty crusty dusty and yellow if I might add so there was one previous owner before we bought this and a lot of things have never been changed out exhibit a this tower rack oh my goodness the mirror the lights the outlets the hinges the entire door um, the floors I do not like them whatsoever and also the trim is very very old so yeah So starting off with paint, we typically like to start off painting from top to bottom. So ceiling is usually first, of course. And the reason why I say start off with paint is because it's the most cost effective and makes the largest impact in any space. So if you don't do anything else and you just paint, I promise you it's going to make all the difference. So here I am going in with two coats of the ceiling paint because our ceilings and walls are textured. And then my husband is going to go around and cut the border with white and then cut the walls with the um, paint color that we're going with and look at that all the difference so my husband went ahead and labeled the paint cans and paint brushes super important you guys please do this step <laughs> so i'm going to be going ahead and knocking out this trim giving that a good wipe down i'm going to be going in with some caulk first and then i'm going to be going in with this primer now i do recommend going in with two coats of primer and then a coat of paint you can even do two coats of primer two coats of paint but no matter what i love going in with two coats of primer it just gives you the best results especially when you're going from one extreme to another this trim is a old brown dark wood stain so it's super important that we add two coats of primer so the new paint can adhere to it and you don't have any yellow peeking through it'll look as good as new so once that primer is drying I decided to go ahead and get any patchwork done in the walls before we paint the walls and we went ahead and switched out our shower head a while ago that's why that looks like that back there so <laughs> definitely go ahead and dab that up and you're gonna want to smooth that out with um, some type of sanding paper so you're stuck with a nice smooth surface to paint now when painting definitely break out that tape you guys it's gonna give you those really crisp clean lines and here's the trim after two coats of primer and one coat of paint it looks so so good So moving on to floors, we realized that we needed to take the quarter round out so you see that that is missing around the borders of the floor. <laughs> so we went ahead and took that up and I'm using this flexible floor patch and leveler and I'm following this along the grout lines. The reason we're doing this is because, like I said, these floors have never been touched and once we put down our peel and stick tiles, we want them to lay as flat as can be. My husband went ahead and put the toilet into the tub. You don't have to do that. You can just cut around it and adhere it that way but we just wanted a clean crisp finish we went in with that brush that you saw with primer over the entire floor and this is just going to make sure everything lays flat and it adheres properly again you don't have to do that step particularly so here's the peel and stick tie that we went with i love the marble veining and i just love the color of it it's clean but it's not too stark believe it or not they had ones that were way wider than this so here um you want to lay down the ones in the middle first i think that's easiest and and then you can make your cuts up against the one that you already have down or where you want it to stop and end you're going to go ahead and cut that with a box cutter nice clean line you're going to peel and then you're going to stick so here we're using some spacers this is just going to give you some nice clean grout lines so once you put it down don't press down quite as yet until you get it um, until you get the spacers nice and even 
So Peel and Stick is super budget friendly. Say you're renting and the floors are in great shape, you just want to switch it up or want a new look, Peel and Stick will definitely be a choice for you. It's super cheap, cheaper than what I thought it would be, and especially for small spaces like this, makes it nice and easy because you can get it right back up without messing up your existing tile. So here I'm just grouting and cleaning that up. You want to make sure you clean this up before it dries so that you don't have any cast over it. So now we did go ahead and buy new quarter rounds and that's nice and cheap we're using some of this glue to adhere to uh, the quarter round to the tub section and then for the rest of the bathroom we're gonna go ahead and use the nail gun and um, adhere the quarter rounds that way but because this one is up against the tub we decided to go in with this glue <music> So now um, for the quarter round here, I'm going ahead and caulking up these holes that you see and then I'm going to be taping the bottom here and that is because I'm going to be caulking where the quarter round meets the tile and then again on the top where the quarter round meets the trim. So I'm going ahead and taping the bottom just so I can get a nice clean finish. forget to get like a wet paper towel or wet washcloth and just go ahead and wipe that clean and make sure you're kind of pressing into the seams that you're trying to fill and then once you're peeling up tape you want to make sure and peel up in a way so here I took this opportunity to clean up anything I need to clean up because I am done with the painting for now So out with the old and in with the new, we are going ahead and taking out this old door, you guys, hinges and all. We are just not wanting to use it anymore. Um, we, we're wanting to switch out the mirror, the light, the curtain rod, and also the towel rack. So we took all of that out, as you've seen before. In here, we have this door, you guys. Now it's so much cheaper to buy a door and paint it yourself. It's more cost effective that way. So with trim work like this on the door, you wanna go in with a paintbrush and then you wanna roll out the rest of the door. So that's what I'm doing here, getting all the sides, top, bottom, etc. So now it is time for us to measure out where we want to hang a mirror and thank you for giving tree for our beautiful mirror you guys I will definitely leave a link to the mirror that um, we got down below as well as a discount code for you guys but I am obsessed with the website obsessed with the service everything is so easy and they have everything that you absolutely need to make a statement for your bathroom or kitchen so I definitely recommend you checking them out especially if you're mix mixing high with low this will give you that luxury feel for a definitely better cost it came with all of the accessories and very clear instructions which we appreciate so here we're just measuring out where we want things to go and um we're going to be wiring this so that when we flick on the light, the mirror and our big light comes on as well. And I'm going to show you the features in just a little bit. But my husband is going ahead and drilling down so he can fish a wire into an outlet onto the wall. So you'll see that in just a moment. So 
all there was left to do was go ahead and attach the bracket to the wall making sure everything is leveled plug it in and slide it on just that easy this mirror can be hung vertically or horizontally both are beautiful beautiful options you guys and here are some features now you can turn on and off the light um, you can also dim the light it is absolutely dimmable which is awesome and then it also comes with a defogger like what talk about luxury you guys i'm obsessed you can still see yourself i don't know how many times i had to get out the bathroom and like wipe it down or wait for it to to fog for me to style my hair do my makeup so that's a really really nice touch for the boys they're so fancy look at this transformation i am obsessed we went ahead and chose black hinges black doorknob so that it can match the hallway and i just added some artwork i hung the waffle curtain even higher well it's a new one i hung it even higher and look at that before and after you guys game changer i promise you some artwork that really simplified it and made it very spa like and then i just added a few touches to the sink here and kept everything um, pretty neutral color and the theme of just water and just simple and very spa like now I can add on to this of course but this is it as far as the $300 cap <laughs> so I am obsessed with how this turned out you guys and I really really hope that you enjoyed it so I'm gonna let you enjoy and yeah I am just blown away at this transformation up my video you guys i hope that you enjoyed this from start to finish i hope that you learned something even if you don't do all of the things that i did i hope that you took it with a grain of salt and incorporated this into your future diy project when it comes to painting or any room really but especially the bathroom so i hope that you enjoyed please stay tuned we have way more makeovers to come and of course we're finally going to be getting into the christmas content here on my channel i've been so excited to do that don't forget to like comment subscribe leave any questions that you have down below i love all of the support that you guys continuously give me here on my channel i love you all so 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 much and until next time i'll see you later Thank mm -hmm. you.